What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Hope you guys are having a great day today. Yeah, yeah, we are back. We are back on Mercury Farms. I am loving, loving, loving Mercury Farms. So we got stuff all over the place. We got grass over there. We got pig food over there, and it is just nasty. We are going to... Eh, we're not going to we're gonna cheat a little bit. That's what we're going to do. We are going to go in here to our landscaping tool, and we are simply going to roll through... Oh yeah, there we go. Smooth out the area. Smooth it out. We have some. Oh yeah, we've got another thing already. And then just smooth that out. Now, everybody is clean. I'm loving it. Everybody's clean. That's right. Y'all happy. Y'all is happy. Now, we have some new stuff for Farming Simulator, which gets me very, very excited. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to go into a miscellaneous, and we're going to go over till we see these guys greenhouses yes we've got lettuce and we have tomatoes now i like the look of the tomatoes better so we're gonna get a couple of these now we've got a bit of money we're preparing for a live stream you guys haven't seen it yet but we're going to start it very very soon so what i want to do is i want to just place a couple of these down and i want to put them about right here to be completely honest with you Problem, problem is, there's stuff all over the place, and there's a tree right there of it going in and everything. I'll tell you what we should do. Let's go here, and let's kind of hop up in the tree, and let's see what we can do about trimming this thing up a little bit. Let's see. Is it, is it going to let us? That's the question. Do we own this land? First and foremost, do we own this land? Oh, gosh, yeah. Uh... Big tin for it. Yes, yes, we do. Uh, this should work. But guess what it's not doing? Working. It used to work before the uh, before the update it worked. These limbs would just fly away. Huh. Okay. I see you, I see you. So you ain't gonna work because of the new update well in that case i'm just going to ignore that the tree's even there and we're going to put it down anyway so get these greenhouses yeah that's right oh i'm ignoring you here we go let's come back to about right uh let's see let's get it right off right off right about there bam perfect that right there is where i want that now let's do the next one now should we leave room in between I think maybe we should leave room in between. Now, the doors do not open on these guys. So if you want in, good luck. You ain't going nowhere. But I think we could hit maybe about right there. Yep. yep. Moo indeed. And then about right there. Yeah. I like that. And now we've got a couple greenhouses. So let's jump out of here. Let's take a look at them. Eh, you know what? Actually, it doesn't look too bad. It just looks like there's windows opening. and the No, the trees definitely threw it. So what do we need? We need manure. Yep. What else do we need? Water. Oh yeah, we definitely need water. And we need something to make this look right. So let's go into landscaping. And even though these have doors that we cannot access, no matter how much we try, we can still make it look right. So let's do that. Let's bring that out about right there. That looks good. Again, same thing through here. I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. And let's do the exact same thing there. Boom. That kind of looks like home, doesn't it? Only thing is, I don't know if you guys can see, we appear to be floating a bit. You guys see that? Is he, are these really floating? I think that's a 10-4, good buddy. They are afloat. Huh. Can we fix that? See, this one's not floating, at least not as bad. But once we get back into here, oh gosh. And then over here, again, not too bad, but when we get to the back part, oh that's that's just not that's just not good at all. How about we do this? This is my idea. So we're gonna need to go back into landscaping. Let's go into sculpting and let's just take a flat area. So this area right here. And let's bring this out. Is that doing the trick? <laughs> Sounds like the cows are saying no. <laughs> that 
think that's doing it. I, th I think, I think that that's working. This appears to be working, and I think it's working pretty darn well, as a matter of fact. So let's roll through. Let's bring all this around to us. Flat, 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 flat. Oh, interesting. So what's flat here? It's actually not what's flat down here. Oh, boy, oh, boy. We've just gotten ourselves into a heap of trouble, haven't we? Can we level this back out? Gosh, I'm so sorry. I made it overboard. I did. I went overboard. Gosh, no. Can we bring this back down at least? There we go. Brought that back down. Make it a little bigger. Right there. Bring it all back down. Sorry. I didn't mean to overdo it. No. Let me know down in the comment section below. Do you guys overdo it every once in a while? Because we have definitely, definitely just gone through and overdone it. Oops. You know what? I'm going to quit messing with it because I'm going to... Just, just one little spot. Just one little spot. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. See? It matches. And bring it up. About right there. Let's bring this down one. See? I like that. And then we'll just run across this one instead of making them all the same. What we'll do is each one has its own height. There's that one and this one. And then we'll just come through, smooth it all out, and hopefully, 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 we will have zero issues, just as we are right now. Man, oh gosh, I can't believe we went out through all that. That took way too long. <laughs> so, what's next? This guy right here, the Manitou the man of the hour so we've got manure fortunately for us the manure kind of makes itself because the animals eat they make it to poo and we get to poo we got a big old bucket on the front of this guy as well what i hope is that we don't get in here and just completely oh slow it down slow it down completely ruin that whole area can we get it oh we are not low enough yet are we oh gosh i didn't even see the front of that thing there we go. There's that. Uh, let's see. 1,000. I think the cows make about as much as that. How about we do this? Because I know we're going to need... Is it 3,000 liters, I think it is? Let's come here. And let's just fill this up with manure. If you guys did not know, you can use the silo for manure. So if all goes to plan, we'll be able to do two of these. And a little bit of a third. And of the third... We should have a little bit left over, a little bit extra. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's bring this around over here. <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking. Like, great. We, we just signed up for, wow, that's bumpy back there. This whole area is bumpy. We're going to have to make changes to that big time. Oh, we messed all that up. A little bit of manure. Nice and easy. It knows it's over a thing, so that's good. Let's fill this up. And let's turn on our help window so we can see how much manure is going in. 90, 100, 3,000 liters of manure. Boom. There's one. Let's hit our second one right here. We've got plenty left in here. Here we go. Dump this out. I do love how we can look in and we can see everything. Actually, cannot be performed. Was there enough manure in it? Yep. Yeah, well, the manure's in it, so we're good. And then let's just take whatever's left of the cows. So the cows have manure. Yep, they do. Let's turn our lights on so we can see. Bring it down. Bring it down. Got it. This seems to have turned into a how to use. Uh, it's a tutorial now. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the tutorial on how to use your greenhouses. One take. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done a video one take before. There we go. Boom. So that's done. Now we need to get water. Now the water's in our semi-truck, and I don't think it's full. So we're going to have to go through, find the semi-truck, and fill that up. Water is all finished. We should be able to pull oh, not too far away from it. Fill it up. Now these are going to fill up fast. Very fast. Yo, are we filling up two at the same time? No, it's just freaking out. You see that? There we go. Okay, now it's working again. Let's see if we can freak it out again. Yep, there goes freaking out again. We get a double menu. Huh. Boom, boom. 
Water, there we go. Got them. So one thing about these guys that you may not know is they need water all the time. They need water. If you have manure, I don't believe they do anything. So you always need water. Now, if you add manure to the water, that is good. So make sure whenever you post stuff up in there that they've got stuff. Now, let's take a look at the animals real quick. We've got some extra water. I eh, don't think that. Eh, they really don't need anything. The animals are good. Everybody's in the green. So we are good. Now, we did get some new equipment. We did get some new mods. Quite a few new mods, if I'm uh, not mistaken. And there are, uh, well, there's a few in particular that I'm interested in. And we've already purchased one. When we get over there, we're going to buy at least one more, maybe a third. I know we're buying two for sure. We may buy a third, depending on what we find and what we see, what we like. And we are going to have to take over a tractor. So, I think for all intents and purposes, the JCB will do perfectly for us. Let's get rid of that help menu. We don't need that thing. And if you haven't seen yesterday's video yet, make sure that you go check it out. There's a lot of really cool stuff from yesterday's video that we've done. Not to mention this area right here. Oh, yeah. Now, you may have saw... Oh, another thing. So you might notice that the tractors are a little bouncier now. They seem a little bouncier, like their, their weight is just a bit lighter. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Could be just me. But nonetheless... We got the silage moved. Check this out. 300 or 3,516,889. Yo. It is awesome. We got all the silage moved over finally. And we are empty here. Now we're gonna do something with this. And if you guys are watching this now and you saw yesterday's live stream, we already did something with that. So if you haven't checked that out make sure you check that out as well both will be linked at the end of the video or you can just go check them out right now if you'd like well, let's over to the store got a few things over there that i want to pick up things that i find interesting a couple mods i'm like oh i like that let's check that out rolling in now tractor in the middle i have reset that that is something of ours however the other four things here are brand new and I want to check these out in detail. First up is this little guy right here. It's a weight. Let's, let's hook up to it. There we go. Let's see how much weight's actually putting down. Eh, it's putting down a pretty decent amount of weight. So with this guy, what we've got, so we lower it down and then we're able to drive like we normally do. It doesn't affect steering at all. And even backing up, it just simply does its thing which is great i love that it's a little bit heavy i just think it's cool i've been very interested in this since the first time we hit saw it what about this the joskin oh yeah the 7000 baby 7027 so what i've done is i've gone through and we gave it a silver bottom and silver wheels however it's a little well it's not too small actually i think what is this whole 20, 25,000? Well, let's just take a look at everything we picked up today. So the Joskin is in here, and we are going to find that right about there. So I changed the rim color to silver, and I changed the design cover to silver, which gave us this setup right here, capacity 25,000. Wheel setup, I did go with wide tires and mud guards. So this cost us about 29 grand overall. Not too shabby. And the guys in the front, well, to be honest with you, I just kind of wanted it. <laughs> but it's cool, and I dig it. Let's check that out. That is in weight. And this is the Amazon, was it the Amazon T-Pack, I believe it was? was. Yeah, the Amazon T-Pack. So we've gone for the biggest front weight version. So that's the version right there that we have. It says it requires 40 horsepower, which is kind of odd, but... It is what it is. It says it will go 21 miles per hour. Now, I don't know if that's down, if that's up. I just simply don't know. What I do know is that it's cool and I had to have it. Yeah, yeah. What about this right here? Well, we've got our case. And what we've got here is we've got 
a planter, well, a cedar rather, and we have a subsoiler. So it's for plowing. Check this out. So this is an all-in-one plowing, cultivating, planting solution. Not is it crazy, not is it weird. This is meant to be together. Both of these pieces. I'm going to show you these as well. So these are going to be in subsoilers all the way to the end. There you go. The Kuhn DC301 requires 100 horsepower, 3 meters wide. And right below it, again, all the way to the end in cedars, is the Kuhn Cetera 3003 meters. We'll go 9 miles an hour, of course. 120 horsepower. So I don't know if that's 100 and 120, so 220 horsepower required. Either way, I'm going to use this case for it. So let's pick this piece up. And let's pick this piece up. Here we go. There we are. Tell you what, not a whole lot of weight on this thing, to be honest. I mean, this is very lightweight. Very lightweight. I can barely even tell something's on there. I mean, the front is pretty well planted on this guy. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. Yo, does anybody need anything planted? Yo, give us one. Harvesting, 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 fertilizing, fertilizing, fertilizing. Oh, not a one. Are you kidding? It's all, har it's Harvest City. Does this place, you gotta be kidding me. Is this like the entire map ready to be harvested? No, not the entire map, just parts of it. Very interesting. Ah, we can't buy them all. Darn. Is there anywhere that we could just set this off and let it go? We may just have to hang on to it right now. This is going to be quickly one of my favorite, favorite, favorite little rigs. It's so cool. It's small. It does not fertilize. I will tell you that right off the bat. It does not fertilize. It just seeds. That's it. But that is just... Oh, that's so cool. I love it. Well, though I know it said it can only go, what, 21 miles per hour? We drop this thing down. It just takes off. Yeah, 40 miles per hour on this little guy. I'm just going to put one on the front and rear of every tractor and just go with it. Make every tractor just a little bit heavier. Hey, what's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that at all. What I decided to do since we were out about is I wanted to pick up a little bit of manure. Now, I know this is sometimes a little interesting to try and get to work. Nope. Worked just fine. <laughs> wow, look at that fill level. Holy cow, that thing fills up fast. I do love it. If you guys are interested in this track or this trailer, rather, this is a black sheep modding. Yeah. Do you wonder why you liked it so much? Black sheep modding. It's a fire. <laughs> there we go. 824 bucks for this entire rig right here. Well, I'd say rig for all that manure that's in there. What I wanted to do since we were out and about and since we had a trailer, so I wanted to go ahead and get a little bit of extra manure and take it back with us because I knew, oh, I knew, eventually we were going to need some extra manure. So we've got it right there. There you go. We are good. We've got everything we need and everything is rocking. Now I know how this is going to dump and it's going to dump back. So we need to be careful. Oh, slow it down, baby. Slow it down. Ooh, I did not have the brakes for that. Easy. Right there. I know it's going to tip. Yep, there it goes. We going to run into problems? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, there we are. Yeah. Boom, baby. <laughs> well, on that terrific wee, I think that's going to be where we call it because we're not going to be able to top that. That was incredible. So... That is going to be it for today. We're going to take off and we are going to prepare for our live stream for tomorrow. I'll make sure that's linked at the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, let me know. I tried a different approach. Just trying a few new different things. Seeing what works the best for these types of videos and for these, uh, I was about to say these live streams. This is not a live stream. Nonetheless, we need some corn. <laughs> so we're going to fill this thing up slowly but surely with corn very slowly. That being said, hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace!